60 pounds for the damn champion. Team international champion this year. Eight dollar dominant performance in the finals. What was the key to getting that win in the match? Just doing what I do. Going out, scoring points. Getting to my offense, being stingy on defense, you know. This just feels like the perfect storm for me, you know. I feel strong, I feel fast, explosive. I feel like the, the, the story's already right and I just gotta do what I gotta do. Do my due diligence and go out there and get it done. Talk about that first takedown to the uh, Is that something you, you practice or is it something you felt? Yeah, I mean, we practice that. Uh, I actually haven't been practicing like my transition to my lace too much because I feel like that's almost like just instinct, you know, like a Delahoya left hook. It's just gonna be there. It's uh, it's something that I just feel. I got a great feel for it. Freestyle is really helpful for me because I could get to my offense and then generate more when I get on top. So that's just something that uh, feels like second nature. In the red, Monday. Not having to grind as much. Not having to weigh in as much. How's the body feel and how's the training? Uh, a thousand times better. You know, I feel strong. I feel fast. I feel explosive. I feel rested mentally and physically. Just being able to control my own and schedule with me and my coaches has been able, you know, the cliche saying get 1% better every day, right? When I'm uh, working towards my body and, and it's focused about me, I feel like I'm getting like 10% better every day. And you know, that's the main thing about, about me and what I preach to my youth club and to myself is just continuing to develop those skills, you know, all the other stuff. Will fall, will fall in hand, you know, like the the cardio, the strength training, and everything else. It's just uh, something to add on. But if skills skills pay the bills. Bartlett's a guy known for really stingy defense. What was the uh, game plan going into that match, if any? Just going out and getting them. You know, it's uh, you just got to be able to believe in yourself enough. And I know coaches and everything say that all the time. Believe in yourself, but you got to believe in yourself to a level that you're gonna allow yourself to go out there and be the best version of yourself that you're going to be and uh, that's huge you know because you could go out and lose a match and coaches could tell you oh you didn't win that match because you hung with your right hand but in your head you know hey I didn't allow myself to go be the best that I could be and that's just something that I preach to myself every day I talk to myself every day and just saying hey I'm not going to beat myself and, that, and that's the main thing is uh, if I go out there and wrestle to the man I'm capable of being I feel nobody could beat me. You had a really good run, included a win over Alex Pantello. You were down yep. early and had to score against a guy who's really, really stingy. Yeah. You know, what did you find out in that match, not just about yourself, but about the competition that you have to go to that next gear? Yeah, just knowing, uh, just uh, kind of helping the thoughts I've been thinking of, like that I could go out and do that and I could win regardless of the situation. And that match just kind of fed my confidence even more, you know, it makes make me feel like no matter the circumstances, I can be down one, two, three, four takedowns, and I'm going to be able to go out there and still have a chance to be able to go win that match. Just uh, makes me very proud of myself knowing that, you know, I'm the guy late in the match that, that other people got to be worried for, you know, not hanging on, hoping that I have enough to, to skate by. I could be the guy that's pressing forward on the gas and going to get you. Now, what's the, the next step look for you in, in your preparation as you get ready for the trucks? Just continue to do the things that we're doing. Continuing to find holes in my game and try to plug them, you know. I got a great team behind me, Troy Nickerson, my main practice partner, Earl Hall, you know, um, all the guys, Vinny Zurbin, Rudy Lopez, all the guys that I go with in the room on a consistent basis. We're just all working together. And it's a great environment. It's a place where I feel like it's not me versus my partner. It's me and my partner both working towards the goal of developing our skills. So it's just uh, continuing to do that every day, work my ass off, and uh, the results will show. Do you study any other sports as you prepare for, for wrestling? or, or are you Yeah, no, I, uh, I get into a bunch of stuff, you know. I, I study a lot of boxing. You know, I feel like it's, uh, it's a lot of similar similarities, more in like uh, stylistic matchups, like you got a guy who moves around and boxes very well versus a guy uh, like a Mexican style fighter who can get in your face, get tough, make people tired. And uh, it's kind of the same, you know, that's kind of like a Iowa guy versus like an Oklahoma State guy. You know, Two boys. Matchup. A guy who's like on the outside versus a guy who's trying to get in your face and go get you. And just seeing how certain guys navigate with different type of styles. And uh, that's something that's really helped me. It's helped me because I could plug that into my wrestling. You know, if I see a guy Maybe he's, he keeps turning a guy a certain way. 
I'm a girl that myself. So I'm very open minded with everything when it comes to wrestling. If there's uh if there's something that'd give me an inch better, I'm gonna go do it. Two guys who weren't here, uh, who you'll probably see at Olympic trials, Nick Lee, yep. Yanni. Do you train for them specifically or, or how much do you look forward to wrestling those guys? Oh, I'm I'm ready for anybody, you know. Like I said, I feel like the the writing's on the wall, it's just time to go fulfill it. But uh, I don't train for a specific person. I like to train for all styles, you know, just certain positions and categories that people may fit into. That's just uh, going to make sure, you know, the thought of being a, a professional, because in wrestling, this is like your professional level, right? And uh, I feel like being a professional is, is having already seen every position played out in your head and being able to go back into the room and go play with it and figure that position out. So I'm constantly thinking of ways that something might give me trouble and uh, just trying to fill those every single day. Oh yeah, thank you.